Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a blogger over at lizzieandlace.com and I also have an Instagram at lizzieandlace. It's all pretty and pink and girly. And if you are into that kind of stuff, I share a lot of feminine fashion, beauty, and lifestyle over here on YouTube. And I hope that you will join. So make sure that you subscribe below if that is something that you are interested in. Today we are talking about all things Charlotte Tilbury. I know that you guys love her makeup and so do I. So I wanted to share the Look of Love collection. I'll be sharing my thoughts on the face palette which I am currently wearing and the lip and cheek tints as well as the lipsticks and I will be swatching all of these on my lips. Right now I'm wearing wedding bells and it is so pretty. I hope you guys enjoy. My lips feel so naked right now. <laughs> Um, I love like lipstick and lip glosses and um, just lip products in general and so right now I feel so weird without my lipstick but I'm going to swatch all of the lipsticks on my lips in just a second. So this face palette has pretty much everything that you need for the face. It has three different eyeshadow colors, one to brighten, enhance, and smoke. It also has a face bronzer a highlighter, a cheek color, and a face powder. At first glance, this palette is so beautiful. It has a signature Charlotte Tilbury look, that very old Hollywood glam. It's just so beautiful and so feminine. And I really, really love the colors in here. They're so um, feminine and romantic and just really soft and pretty. So I normally wear pink shades on my eyes, but I really like these nude brown tones. I think they're really pretty and I think they kind of make my eyes pop a little bit. They're not colors that I typically wear, so it's really nice to try something different and it's really not that outside the box for me because um, when it comes to makeup, I really like makeup, but I'm not that experimental when it comes to colors. So yeah, I really like this and I like the that it has everything all right here so it's really good for travel or just taking it on the go and instead of packing a million products for your face you have one and so I really like that um, the price is a bit higher but I think that it is justified because a little goes a long way um, the products go on really really nice and they're buildable and they feel really silky and luxurious I really really like it and so you can um, build it up to create more coverage or you can just put on a little bit to um, just give a nice pop of color and yeah, like it just feels really nice on my face. It feels like I'm not even wearing anything and I think it just looks really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the lipsticks from the collection and this is Nude Romance and it is a kissing lipstick. The other three are Matte Revolution. So this one is very hydrating and silky smooth and it just kind of glides on and it's just really, really pretty. So this is very much a nude color. <laughs> And to be honest, I actually don't usually go for nudes. I find that they typically look brown on me, um, but this one, it looks like it kind of has like an orangey undertone, and I don't usually go for orange lipsticks either, but I think that it's really, really pretty. I think it's very sophisticated and elegant, and I think that this could look really pretty on a lot of different um, people. I, I think it's a really nice neutral, and I really like the formula and the texture of it. And of course, I really love the beautiful case. So let me know below, do you guys think that this nude color looks okay on me? <laughs> because. I don't know, I think it looks okay, but I'm just not really used to seeing myself with like a nude lipstick, so I don't know. I need, I need some validation. <laughs> this one is called Wedding Bells, 
and this is one of their matte revolution formulas and it's really nice and silky and just very smooth and um, luxurious feeling. I really really like it. I'm a big fan of their lipsticks and I know that a lot of people really like liquid lipsticks these days but I really love traditional lipstick bullets. I think that they are just so classic and I don't know, they just make me so happy and I am such a fan of lipstick in general. So I think that this color is definitely up my alley. It's a really beautiful mauve pink and that is typically what I wear. So this would be more of my everyday color or something that I would wear for my blog photos or even for YouTube videos. Um, I feel most comfortable in this type of color and I think it's just, it's really, really beautiful. I have seen from other people that this um, is pretty similar to Pillow Talk. I personally think that this is probably a little bit darker. Also, I just have to say that these lipstick cases are so gorgeous. I think they might be my favorite design that they've ever made. They're just so beautiful and so sparkly and just so regal. And if you didn't know, these lipstick cases are actually refillable. So when you run out of a color, you can buy the same one or a different one and just get the refill and use the same tube. And it's super easy to pop in and out. And I really love that. This one is called Mrs. Kisses, and this is also in the Matte Revolution formula. And I think the color is more of kind of like a dark nude, and it almost, to me, it looks like a burnt orange. Um, not my typical color, but I do think it's really, really pretty, and I think it would be absolutely gorgeous for fall. Again, the formula is really nice. It has that silky, smooth feel, and... It almost just feels like satin on your lips. It's just, it's really nice and it's a bold color, but I think it's also still very wearable. This one is called First Dance and I really love it. I used to wear bright lip colors all the time. And so um, I really was drawn to this one. I think it's really beautiful. And actually this is my go-to shade for like fall winter. It's kind of like a really pretty rosy plum shade. And I think it would be really nice for like date night or um, like an evening event. This is also the Matte Revolution formula. So it goes on really easily and it practically feels like you have nothing on your lips and it's just really beautiful and I think that this is another shade that would be universally flattering and actually that's really what I love about this collection so the face palette actually has two different ones and I have uh which one do I have I have pretty blushed beauty <laughs> so I think that this is the one with the lighter shades and I really want to try the other one as well and then all the lip colors I think would look good on pretty much any skin tone. They're really, really pretty and I love the formula for all of them. Um, as I told you before, I'm a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and so that's not really a surprise but I'm very happy with this collection and with all the shades. I think they are absolutely stunning. And here is a comparison of what all the colors look like swatched and on my lips. From top to bottom, Nude Romance, Wedding Bells, Mrs. Kisses, and First Dance. I'll link a blog post in the description with more imagery as well. This is the Tinted Love Lip and Cheek Tint, and I actually haven't tried it on my cheeks yet, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like on my lips. And I have three different colors. This first one is called Blushed Rose, and it's a really beautiful, kind of like mauve pink color. I think it's gorgeous and very flattering. So the application was not really what I was expecting. The consistency of the formula is a little runnier than I thought it would be. Um, for like lip and cheek tints, I'm used to kind of like a more gel or cream consistency. And this one is, um, it's a little creamy, but not as creamy as some other ones that I've tried. And so I wasn't really sure how it would work. But once I put it on, it actually dried down and it doesn't budge. And it's just like a really nice, 
pretty color. The first layer was very sheer, so I put on a second layer and made the color pop a lot more. So I think that you could build it to whatever intensity you want it to be. And as far as um, how long it lasts, I'm not really quite sure. I haven't experimented with that yet, but I can give you guys an update in the comments. This is another shade called Santa Euphoria. And this one is slightly darker than the last one, and I think it has more of like a nudey, orangey undertone rather than the mauvey pink. Um, I don't usually go for like nudes or um, orange tones or anything like that, but I do think it's a really pretty flattering color, and I think it's very feminine and romantic. I would definitely wear this one as well super pretty and also since these colors are so sheer I think they'd actually look really pretty if you layered them together um I might try that like later on this week but I think that they would look really really pretty and you could create your own unique color this would be a really pretty color for fall and regarding the formula I should also mention that since it is um more watery than creamy or gel like it actually feels like it becomes part of your lip so it's really lightweight and it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything and this one is called love chain and let me tell you it is much brighter than i was expecting <laughs> um i was expecting kind of like like a burgundy red and I think that this is more of like a strawberry which is still very very pretty I think it's really pretty for summertime um, bright colors are always really fun in the summertime and I think it would also be really nice during the holiday season as well um, I think it's really pretty I think that it would be super flattering on pretty much any skin tone also, I have a cup of water here, so I'm really curious to see if there's any transfer. Um, I literally just put this on like two minutes ago, so I don't know if it's dry enough, but we'll see. Um, there's like a little bit, but you can't really, you can't really tell. I don't know if you can even see it. Um... Yeah, nothing on my fingers either. Nice! <laughs> um, because sometimes with like the brighter colors, they will transfer, but this is really nice. So overall, I really do like the Tinted Love Lip and Cheek Tint. I think that they're really good um, when you're kind of going to be out and about for a while and you're not really going to have a lot of time to reapply lipstick or anything like that. And they feel really comfortable and they're really easy to apply and it's really easy to build it to the color intensity that you want. And here is a comparison of what all the colors look like swatched and on my lips. From top to bottom, Blushed Rose, Santa Euphoria, and Love Chain. More images of these will also be linked in my blog post. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you loved this video and you loved getting a peek into the Look of Love collection. Leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite item was and be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. For even more girly content, make sure you visit my blog lizzieandlace.com and my pretty pink Instagram at lizzieandlace. I will see you guys later. Bye!